Hi, Dr. Ronald Glett. This video is to assist you in doing your case studies using the patient management form. So it's not really a lecture, it's just a tutorial on how to do your exercise. So I'd like to share my screen. Here you see the Moodle screen. We scroll down, introduction, then the expert thinking lectures. Introduction, infection and chronic disease, surgery and obstetrics, and finally we got to the patient management form. So below the patient management form, we have the expert thinking exercise. And this is what we're going to learn how to do. I've clicked on the it and I'm waiting for it to open. There we are. So we have case studies. You see the patients on the left. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cases for you to practice with. And you're going to use the patient management form over here to try and help you make decisions as an expert. You click on that. When you do that, you enter into a different form or a different website. So you can click back and forth from the Moodle website with the case studies to the patient management form. So let's choose the first patient. First patient's name is Clements, 20 year old mother with a dirty laceration. Back to the form. So you put in your own name, I'll put in mine. And we put in the patient's name, so she's Clements. I remember she was 20. So she is a young adult. It's a female. Let's go back and look at what her problem was. She has a dirty laceration on her lower leg. Came from a hole, happened two days ago. So let's put that information in the form. Her chief complaint is a laceration. It happened two days ago, so it's been two to three days. What type of problem is this? Is this medical, surgical, or obstetrical? I think it's a surgical problem, so we indicate that. We go to the case study to look at her mental status. There's no notes on her mental status, but if you look at her face, it looks like she's alert and participating in the discussion. So let's give her alert. Now we come to vital signs. Blood pressure, systolic and diastolic, pulse, respiratory rate and temperature. Let's have a look. Her blood pressure was 110 over 50. Pretty normal for a 20 year old. Her pulse is 110, respiratory rate 15 and temperature 36. So let's go back to the form. So she's got a normal systolic and a normal diastolic blood pressure. Her pulse is 110, it's a bit on the high side. Her respiratory rate was 15, a bit on the high side. Her temperature was normal. Clinical findings, it was a dirty wound. So let's see if there are any surgical danger signs. Blood pressure is okay. She had a high pulse. She's not really short of breath, just a bit of a tachypnea. Mental status is okay. Her abdomen is okay. It's really a penetrating wound, although the limb is likely to be painful. She's a 20 year old mother, but she has no obstetrical danger signs or symptoms. 
So we have to think about what's going on here. So we could have a simple laceration. It could be an infected laceration. Or it could be contaminated. Perhaps with spores from tetanus toxoid or something like that. So always think of the po potential possibilities. Don't just jump on your diagnosis. So what's the most likely diagnosis? The most likely diagnosis I think is an infected wound. So we give her medium risk for that. Less likely, it's just a laceration. But that's probably the least likely. Is it contaminated? It's got a good chance of being contaminated. So we look at the worst case possibility. We don't treat it as low, we treat it as the highest level, which here is medium. With medium risk, local treatment, clean up that wound, check her immune status. If she needs it, give her tetanus toxoid. If that wound is cleaning up and starting to look better in 24 hours, continue. If it starts to get infected and spread with the cellulitis, then you need to refer that patient. So this is how the patient management form helps you come up with your action plan. At the end of the form, you submit it. You have now completed the patient management form. So, I'm going to close those. If we go to our screensaver, let's stop saving. Let's go back and have a look at the screen again. I would like to show you how to use your Android phone to do the patient management exercises. Here you have your Moodle app. You open the app. You go to the home page. You see the available courses. We go to the patient risk management page. You scroll through these videos and other exercises that you've done. You go down till you get to expert thinking exercise, case studies. Patient management form is there. And here is your cases. So our first case is Clements, a 20 year old mother with a dirty laceration on her lower leg. We want to fill out a patient management form. So we touch there. So it opens up a separate website with her patient management form. So you're going to be shifting back and forth from the patient on the Moodle website to the patient management form, which is on a Microsoft website. So it asks your name, your participant's name. So I'll put my own name here. Then it asks the patient's name. I can remember it was Clements. Her age, she's a young adult. It's a female. The complaint, she had a laceration on her leg. So let's put that in there. When did it happen? I forget. So I'll go back to her website. And I'll see dirty laceration on the leg from the hole two days ago. 
blood pressure 110 over 50. So we'll go back here. Her injury was two to three days old. It's a surgical problem. This patient looks alert. Let's look at her vital signs. Blood pressure 110 over 50, pulse 110. So her systolic blood pressure at 110 is normal. Her diastolic blood pressure at 50 is normal. Her pulse is 110. It's been on the high side. Let's check the rest of her vital signs. Her respiratory rate is 15. Her temperature is 36. So her respiratory rate is 15. That's pretty normal. Her temperature is 36, which is also normal. Findings? Well, she's got a dirty laceration on her leg. Surgical danger signs. We go there, her blood pressure is okay, her pulse a little bit up. Her mental status is okay. It's a penetrating wound. So she's got a high pulse with a penetrating wound. It's not an obstetrical problem, so there's no signs there. Her preliminary diagnosis is laceration. That's their first diagnosis. We like to have three diagnoses. It's maybe an infected laceration. Her third preliminary diagnosis, maybe she's septic. It's been two days, but her blood pressure is okay and her pulse is okay. The most likely diagnosis is an infected wound, and that's a medium risk. Her next most likely diagnosis is it's not infected at all, and that's low risk. And least likely is she's very septic, and that's high risk. What's the most likely worst possibility? I would say that she's a medium risk with sepsis. The action you take would be local treatment and active observation active observation looking to see whether or not she became truly septic and ill. So we've gone through the entire patient management form. We can now submit our result and it will go in to the teaching files. You can now go back and do Stephen. We're not going to do Stephen but you can see you can go to Stephen Open up a patient management form for Stephen and then get his information. So that's how you do a case study using the patient management form on your Android phone. You can shift from one website to another. If you're doing this as a group learning activity, one person could have one phone open and the other could have the alternative mobile open. But it is possible to do this with just one mobile phone. So there are 10 exercises. Doing them all will be good for you. So actually, I, there are eight exercises. So try and do as many of them as you can so you become very familiar with how to make your decisions. So this is the patient management form using the case studies as patient exercises. You see at the end of the exercise, you submit it. And that will show up on my computer and we can look and see what your results were. We can mark them and grade them. So please go ahead and do Clements as a practice and then do the other seven patient management exercises.